It was a tournament that broke new ground. The first ever FIFA Women's World Cup on the continent and first time winners too. Australia and New Zealand will be remembered largely for the co-host's incredible run to the semi-final which saw record-breaking TV viewerships here in the country. I spoke exclusively with the FIFA president Gianni Infantino and asked him about the legacy of the competition. I'm extremely happy, extremely proud. This uh, 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup has simply been the greatest, the best uh, FIFA Women's World Cup ever. Uh, great atmosphere, full stadiums, uh, in the streets, everywhere. The people joyful, happy. Australia and New Zealand have been really fantastic, fantastic hosts. Uh, back home, uh, two billion viewers in the stadiums, two million viewers. Many, many records were broken, surprises, uh, results that we couldn't expect. Eight uh, newcomers, a new world champion. I mean, what do you want more? <laughs> Going forward, what would you say is the legacy of this competition? Well, I think this FIFA Women's World Cup has really had a transformational impact uh, in, in, in society, definitely uh, down under in Australia and New Zealand. That's what everyone here is telling me. But even globally, uh, people uh, are now viewing uh, uh, women's football in a completely different way because for many it was maybe the first time that they were watching a game and they see that actually it's, it's, it's a great sport, great athletes, great technical skills, great tactical skills, great emotions, great passion, the same as for the men. And with an extremely joyful uh, atmosphere. So uh, I think uh, that um, everyone uh, is, is, is looking now at uh, women's football in a completely different way and this is exactly what we wanted to achieve and uh, from here we move to the next level and is that level would you say now in terms of the the record-breaking figures that we've seen so far in this competition do you think we'll ever or do you envisage a time where as many eyes are on this competition in terms of the viewing numbers as on the men's world cups of the past well i think the future is definitely uh for uh, women's football and it's not just uh uh, a, a PR thing. It's not just something that 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 we say. It's it's, it's really the facts and the figures which which uh, show it. Um, and you know, half of the world population is uh, is are women. Uh, so it is obvious that uh, this is going to grow. This is going to prosper. And uh, you know, I mean, already now there are not many men's competitions which can compete with this FIFA Women's World Cup. So starting from there, you know, I think uh, the path is uh, all open uh, for this to, to become as big as the Men's World Cup. Really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Gianni. Thank you. So the FIFA president is bullish about the future of women's football. Over here, it would seem that the tournament has transformed the mindset of the sport. The location of the next World Cup yet to be decided, but whoever the hosts are, there'll be an expectation that 2027 is even bigger than what we've seen here in both Australia and New Zealand. Samashu for Euro News in Sydney.